talking about the Packers snagging some great players. Here's a look at this year's draft class. Dayton Jones, Eddie Lacy, running back, David Bakhtiari, <laughs> J.C. Treader, Jonathan Franklin. Micah Hyde, Josh Boyd, Nate Palmer, Charles Johnson. And Kevin Dorsey, Sam Barrington as well. Now, their lives most certainly have changed forever. <laughs> a lot of pressure and money comes with being drafted. And for more perspective on that, we are joined by former Green Bay Packer and now Director of Development at Marquette <laughs> University, George Kuntz. Also, we asked Lance Allen to join us in on the discussion. Mm -hmm. And George, you look like you could still strap it on and go out there and play. <laughs> but I don't, feel, I don't feel like it. <laughs> and, and, and you should see this ring. I mean, this is, a, nice. this is an you. absolute beauty. Pleasure to have you with well, us. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> what kind of advice do you have for some of the new players that have just entered? Well, m my advice to them is make sure, them stay, make sure they stay true to themselves and make sure that they uh, finish their education. Uh, if they have any Smart. incompletes, make sure they take care of that before mini camp start and training camp start. So. And you know, some of these players come in and they make a big name right. for themselves and they make big money for right. a couple of years and then they get injured or they get right. cut or something. Right. How do you prepare for I don't know, the unforeseen. Well, I, I think the, the best way to prepare is just get that education, you know, and uh, start looking at uh, life after football the day you step in, mm -hmm. you know, because it's very, very exciting. Uh, you know, the average football player th plays about three and a half years. So you have to be cognizant of that to make sure you, you, you're preparing yourself for the long haul. And, George, I've known you and covered you for a long time. You came from East Carolina. Yeah. Obviously, you were a quieter guy. How do you get used to, kind of to follow up on Jake's question, how do you get used to the media limelight that is Green Bay and just kind of all the other things that surround right. football? It's, it, you know, it's overwhelming, you know, mm -hmm. to come into the National Football League. That was a dream of mine when I was nine years old to actually come to Green Bay, a franchise uh, that they have. It was very, very overwhelming, but I had uh, some, um, some veterans mm -hmm. like Reggie White, you know, Leroy Butler, mm -hmm. to help me with my transition into the National Football League. What do you think of the first pick, Dayton Jones, I being think defensive end? I think it's excellent, <laughs> and I really like that. And I, and I really, you know, I'm a defensive guy. He's a defensive <laughs> guy. <laughs> yeah, he's so, so, I'm, so I'm a little biased. Especially to keep those linebackers clean, That's I'm assuming. True. That's true. <laughs> but uh, I like that running back as well. So it's going to be, I think it's going to be a great season for the backers coming up. So yeah, I'm Andy looking forward to it. And George, some of the, people, the players come in and they get hurt right off the bat, and right. it always breaks your heart because you you think, okay, there's their future just gone for Gary forever, Gerard basically. Exactly, you know, because you want to have about 85 guys trying to make this 53-man roster. So um, I wish them luck. It's going to be great. And you, you had an interesting perspective as well. Esra Tuolu uh, obviously came out mm -hmm. and said he was gay. And obviously today with Jason Collins in the NBA, right. your perspective on, on is football ready for that for someone who's actively playing and just the whole situation? Today, I, think the, I, I think the NFL is ready for it, mm. you know. Um, so, you know, I played with a guy. Unfortunately, he couldn't come out while he was playing. You know, after his playing day was over, uh, Ezra came out of the closet. Yeah. But um, I think he would have been well uh, received in the locker room because we had some great leadership with Reggie White, you know, Brett Favre. Yeah. You know, so. George Kuntz, a pleasure to have you Thank with you so us. Much. And uh, Lance, I'm not so sure about you. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it's an honor to have you Thank with you. us, sir. Appreciate Thank it. you very much for See being with us. See how they treat me around here, George, I tell you. No respect. Yeah. Yeah. I apologize. Just tough being a All right, well.